Welcome back to your Five Minute Football Fix. I'm Stephen Miranda. I'm Jeff Ellis, and it's Friday the 13th, 2012. <laughs> I scare is. you? Uh, just a little bit. No, just I was trying to. Uh, it's scary. All right, today it's all about the divisional round. We're going to take you through the four divisional playoff games. All playoffs, all the time, all day. That's all you need to know. We're not even going to talk about the Jets and the dumb things said by, uh, <laughs> what's his name? Uh, Joe Namath. Joe Namath. We're not even going to talk about that. Thank God. <laughs> all right, because... I, Bury I'm, him! I'm done with Namath and uh, everything he has to say J-E-T-S, about this. J-E-T-S, shut up. All right, but we're going to start with the first game. We are going to be there covering this game for Sky Sports. Woo. Jeffrey, the New Orleans Saints traveling to San Francisco to face the 49ers. Let's see if we can figure out how this would work. Who that, who that, who that say they're going to beat them Saints? And then the Jets, then the San Francisco 49ers, who's got better than us? No, but wait a minute. So that who's work? gonna say they're gonna beat them Saints? No, forty niners. No, buddy. <laughs> Maybe that's the outcome. Not as I see it, though. Look, the San Francisco Forty ers have every opportunity to win this football game. Here are the facts: Drew Brees struggles on grass. The New Orleans Saints do not play as well away from home. Those are the facts, and those are good facts. And I think those are the facts I'm taking into account. When I picked the San Francisco 49ers. That's right. Yeah. I said it here. Not a lot of people are giving the Niners a chance, but I am. I that am. defense is fantastic, especially at home. And at home, their offense even scores points. They're scoring about 28 points per game in San Francisco. Meanwhile, the Saints on the road, on grass, are only averaging about 26 points per game. Now, that's not enough. And here's the deal. If you remember from yesterday's program, special teams. The thing, the special sauce, the secret sauce that nobody wants to talk about, special teams. Yes, Greg Williams here, defensive coordinator for the for the New Orleans Saints. He's terrific, and he's going to bring some stuff that Alex Smith hasn't seen yet. He has not seen this kind of blitz packages and stuff yet. But you know what? I think he can handle it. Last time the, San, the New Orleans Saints came to the West Coast, last season in the playoffs, Marshawn Lynch and the Seattle Seahawks Rolled them. Ran all over them. We expect Frank Gore to do the same. I like the San Francisco 49ers. Okay, moving on. Denver Broncos. Yes, everyone's favorite game at the New England Patriots on Saturday night, 5, 30, 5 o'clock start here on CBS here I, in America. I just, uh, I'm just, i glad you didn't call them the Denver Tebos. I'm not, they're not going to be rebranded the Denver Tebos on my watch, Mr. Man. <laughs> all right, well, that's good. Look, Tim Tebow, though, is he's got something uh, intangible. Oh, that, heavens, yes. That, Did he hear heavens yes? Yes, ah, exactly. That, that. And here's the thing. If you go back to their week 15 meeting, Tim Tebow had that Denver team playing great. And if it wasn't for three fumbles right before the end of the first half, that game was going to go down to the wire. And that's what I expect in this game. It's going to be tight. Those 13 and a half points that Vegas is giving the New England Patriots, I would take those points. I don't think they cover that. I don't know that they cover it, but I do have I, I have the New England Patriots winning by about 10, and here's why. It is simple that they played once against these guys, and they did not. They were not happy with their performance at all. Bill Belichick always does a better job in the rematch and re-scheming and getting a tool against this team. Denver came out very hot, shooting hot, and uh, yet at halftime, they slowed down. Look, the secondary for the Patriots is weak. And I think Tim Tebow showed last week, hey, you let, you want me to throw the ball? You want me to beat you with my arm? I can do that. I can complete 10 passes. So that's why they keep it close. But I don't give Denver a chance in this game. If it were in Denver, different story. Having to go to New England, Foxborough, Gillette Stadium, I think the Patriots take it. Sunday morning here in California, we've got the Houston Texans. Not literally here in California. It's in Baltimore, Maryland. Where the Baltimore Ravens are they're trying to establish themselves as a power in the AFC. Steven, how are they getting so little respect? Joe Flacco has to come out and make fun of himself and make fun of the press and says, you know, when we win on Sunday, it won't be because of me. Well, that's exactly what Joe Flacco said, and I think it's because he's right. They never give uh, Flacco any credit when the Baltimore Ravens win. But here's the thing. These two defenses, and probably why he's not getting any credit, Jeffrey, is about their defense. Houston and Wade Phillips and that defense is playing fantastic. And you know what? The Baltimore Ravens defense has always been great. Those are really what's going to be the factor in the game. And who can stop the other guys running back, Arian Foster or Ray Rice? Those are keys to the game. I like Houston in the upset to go on the road and get a win. 
Sticking with the home teams here, I like Ray Rice a lot. That little running back is a veteran. Those other guys are younger, and the running back from Rutgers is going to get the job done. All right, so that's three home teams for Jeffrey. Let's see if he can make it all four. The New York Giants travel to Green Bay to face the Green Bay Packers, the defending Super Bowl champions. Who do you like? <laughs> I've been the Packers guy all <laughs> Since before the Super Bowl last year. Steven made me take the Pittsburgh Steelers last year just because otherwise I would lose a bet, which I lost. <laughs> so that was the only reason I took them. I've been on the Packers bandwagon since week 10 last season. Well, there you go. So he, I actually think uh, I said it earlier, uh, week 17, I said whoever wins Cowboys-Giants is going to be in the NFC Championship game, and I think they're going to do it. The Giants' defense has come out of nowhere to stop people. They stopped the Jets' wide receiving core. They stopped the Cowboys' wide receiving core. And they even stopped the Atlanta Falcons' wide receiving core. They're going to stop the Green Bay wide receiving core. I like the Giants. Ask me if I'm scared about my pick. Are you scared about your pick? A little. <laughs> There you go. That's all the time we have. Enjoy the game. Make sure you're following us on Facebook and Twitter, especially this weekend when we cover uh, the Niners game for Sky Sports. It's going to be fantastic. I'm Stephen Miranda. Jeff Ellis. For your 5-Minute Football Fix. Out. Out.